So how I achieve from this look to this look. So stay tuned. Hey loves, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Jin here. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how I get ready for the day. I am also going to show you how I do my simple everyday makeup routine. So getting ready for the day is one of the key for you to have a successful day. And it also boosts your confidence and productivity. Alrighty, so I just finished my skincare and I love to start putting on some liquid foundation here. So I am using matte liquid foundation. So I'm just putting an exact amount there, not too much on my face. And of course, I'm using this beauty blender just to blend it all on my face. So guys, if you're curious how I do my skincare routine, feel free to watch my morning routine video, the newest one, which I also linked it down below in my description box. Next up is putting on some concealer. So I am using this Maybelline concealer. So I just put a little bit there. I don't put a lot of concealers, I'm just trying to put a little bit just to cover up some freckles on my face and just blend it all in. Next up is putting on some compact powder. So I am using this Maybelline compact powder so I don't put a lot as well, so just an exact amount. Next is doing my brows. So first I'll be using eyebrow pencil. So I'm just going to line the upper part of my brow. So as you notice, I'm just doing a line halfway through. It's because I'll be putting this liquid eyebrow brush, which is from Essence. So I am using this liquid eyebrow brush for quite a long time now. I love using it because it does gives my eyebrow a natural look. I don't do makeup every day. I also have some days that I just do some skincare and just not putting some makeup on but this is my usual makeup routine if i am in the mood of doing some makeup on even if i'm just working from home so and it's also nice just a disclaimer guys that it's also important for you to have some days off from makeup so next up is I'll be using this brush first to apply some simple eyeshadow for the day. So I'm using the light one first at the bottom part of my eye. So I'm just playing around with this uh, nude colors. So next one is the light pink on my eyelid there. So I am using a vegan eyeshadow because I cannot use any other types of eyeshadows because I am now allergic so I have to use a vegan eyeshadow product. So I'm now using this little pointed brush kind of like a round pointed brush and use this brown golden brown color just to put on at the center of my eyelid so i'm just kind of like playing around with this nude colors not too crazy so i'm just making it simple for today so next up is i love to use eye pencil so i love to line my eyelid there after putting eyeshadow and of course I also line the lower part of my eye
Alrighty, so next up is to curl my lashes. So, as you can see, guys, that I am not gifted with lashes. So, yeah, I'm just trying my best here to curl it the best I can. So next up is putting this gel mascara on my lashes. So this is from Thin Lizzy. So having some cotton buds is really useful on this part. This is not my favorite part guys as it gets missing at times but yeah just showing you how I do my simple everyday full makeup on so I get this fiber mascara also from Thin Lizzy and this gives a bit of volume on your lashes after putting on the gel mascara. Next up is applying this liquid eyeliner from Wet n Wild. So I used to hate this part and now I actually love this part because I am used to it. Yeah, it took me a while. It takes a lot of practice to do a little bit of um, wing or, yeah, um, cat eye look. So as you can see, I just line the tip of my eye because as you remember, I already um, use eye pencil to fully line my eye. So next up is to apply this thin mascara from Wet n Wild. So yes, I do love to... Um, apply mascara on my lower lashes and I love to use this thin mascara from wet and wild because it doesn't get messy especially on your lower lashes so we are getting there Next up is highlighting. So I'm using this Rimmel highlighter. So I love putting or applying some highlighter on. So love to highlight my nose. Then my favorite part is contouring. So I am using this Wet n Wild contour. So I love to contour my nose. So to give it a bit of shape there and I'm using this flat brush so next up is putting this bronzer on you can also use contour so first is I am applying this on the below part of my cheek and on the edges of my face so by doing this it does give that nice a structured look on your face and I love that there's kind of like a brown shadow kind of like structured shaped on your face so next is applying this blush on of course so I'm just using this brush to apply this blush on on top of my cheek and just carefully um, applying it on my cheek and I'm just making sure that I'm not gonna overdo it so 
so back to highlighting I'm using this wide brush so I love to highlight um, the upper part of my cheek there and just to give that um, bit of a glow look I also love to apply some highlighter on my collarbones and my shoulder as well it just looks nice you know so I'm now putting my earrings on so we're almost done here <laughs> So I just finished blow drying my hair and now I'm ready to apply this Miracle Oil from Pantene. So I love to apply this on my hair to just give that a little bit of um, shine on my hair and it does help uh, just to give that um, shiny look and healthy look on my hair. Alright, so um, next is of course, never forget to apply a bit of a lipstick there, so I love this lipstick this is um, from Maybelline and I love this color, this is my favorite color, it's just light, kind of like nude pink, so simple as that. So we are done here guys so this is the final look um, it's just simply pretty and yeah you can wear this makeup everywhere at home in the office if you're going out for a date with friends or your boyfriends so very simple and classy next is of course don't forget to apply some body spray there so i have this victoria's secret body spray and yes i am now ready to slay my day so who says that you cannot wear makeup while you're just at home who says that you don't need to get ready when you're just working from home so let's change those mindsets guys did you know that getting ready every day can be a huge part of self-care it's also a form of self-love it can improve your mood boost your self-confidence and gives you the ability to focus and perform certain tasks it can help you to feel more motivated to be productive it can also make you feel good to do well with your tasks because you feel confidence about yourself so did you notice that when you don't get ready for the day you feel like you're tired and you're not inspired and you're not confident so yes these are the benefits of getting ready all right loves thank you so much for watching and i hope you enjoy this video and if you do please hit like and subscribe for more videos of self-care, positive lifestyle, and self-development. Thank you so, so much. Love you guys. And I'll see you on my next one. Bye. Midnight, driving your Mercedes, I've been up calling you, baby, my eyes. Wild from the passenger side.